We're here today to demonstrate the termination of our new EZ600 NMC-2. This connector is our 3190-2641 and replaces our old 3190-1387 connector. The new connector is an alveloid plated connector. It's got all the uh, conductivity of silver, but will not oxidize. The old connector was part silver and part nickel. As you can see, there's a lot of improvement in the coupling nut, both from an aesthetic standpoint and a functional standpoint. The coupling nut is larger, it's easier to bite onto it with a wrench, it's also easier to turn it by hand. The outer conductor of the new connect connector is split to split outer contact, which makes it much more forgiving. And probably most importantly, is the new connector has much improved electrical performance, much better VSWR, performs very well to 6 gigahertz. We have our LMR 600, and with any connector termination, the first step is to get a nice clean cut on the cable. So we're going to cut this cable back. We're going to use our CCT01 cutting tool. And this allows you to get a nice square clean cut. Place it a couple inches back from the end of the cable. You apply a little bit of pressure, downward pressure, and you just spin the tool around the cable. And what you end up doing is you're scribing through the jacket, you're scribing through the braid, you're not crushing the cable. And you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to nick that center conductor and it's just going to snap. Like so. And by doing that, you uh, end up with a nice round cable without crushing the cable. It's really important to maintain an impedance right to the end of the cable. At this point, you take the CST-600 prep tool. This tool is designed for use with both our clamp style connectors and our uh, crimp style connectors. There's a different setting for the jacket, so you must keep that in mind. It's labeled clamp and crimp. But side one is, is identical, regardless of whether it's clamp or crimp. First thing you want to do is make sure you take a look at the tool, make sure there's not something left in there from the last uh, time it was used. Place it on the, the cable until it stops. Get a little thumb switch. Put downward pressure, apply downward pressure with the thumb switch. Now once that thumb switch bottoms out, spin it you know, one or two more revolutions around the cable. Now keep that thumb switch down and you pull and what you do is you expose that center conductor. Now that's cut nice and clean. The cable's kept nice and round. Now what you do is you flip this, that pellet will just eject. You flip the side two, and right now it's already set for clamp. Because, you know, you can loosen that thumb wheel, lock that thumb wheel, but just want to make sure in the, in the case of this connector that it's set for clamp. Place it over the cable. And just spin it like an old pencil sharpener until it spins freely. Like so, you back it off. And one last thing is on this tool here, on the same side is side two, there's a deburr tool built into the end of the tool. Place that over the center conductor, and just uh, half a dozen times back and forth, and you put a nice deburr on the end of that center conductor. Now this connector is just a two-piece connector. Internally, it's identical to the old 1387. It's got an O-ring built inside, and it's got an O-ring between the four and a half sections. You place it right over the, the braid, and you, you put it squarely onto the cable, and you push it and turn it until it stops. Now at this point, there's, all you have to do, a little bend there, and just, just remove that braid away from the outer tape. Now you don't have to be, take too much care here. All you need is any gap at all. If you just take your finger and run it around either clockwise or counterclockwise around the circumference there, that's all you'll have to do. Because the forward end of the connector has a fairly sharp bevel that's going to come in and, 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 and work its way between the outer conductor tape on the core and the braid wire. So at this point, just place that forward section onto the connector. You're just going to make contact with the center conductor, and you, and you turn that that forward section. And at this point, you've terminated the connector onto the cable. All you have to do is tighten it up. We have 15, 16 inch flat wrenches, which is our 3190-1435, which you can use to tighten that up. You don't have to worry about over tightening this, this connector. Just snug that up until those uh, four and a half sections uh, bottom out, like so. 
and if you want, you can use uh, adjustable wrenches, simple adjustable wrenches. Thanks a lot.